हरि ओ श्री गणेशाय नम ओम सर्वाणि भूतानि प्रतिभातीसम जानती तस्म सत्यात्मने नम ज्ञाता ज्ञानम तथा जेयम दृष्टा दर्शन दृश्यभ कर्ता हेतु क्रिया जस्मा तस्म ज्ञाने नम स्फुरती शीकरा जस्मा आनंद सांबरे वन सर्वे जीवनम तस्म ब्रह्मानंदात्मने नम ब्रह्मानंदात्मने नम वेदोदधि समुन्मथ ज्ञानरत्न समुद्रित ये नस्म वशिठा गुरुण गुरव नम वशिठ जी भगवान की जय सदगुरु भगवान की जय सचिदानंद भगवान की जय शब्द ब्रह्म की जय सरस्वती महारानी की जय योग वशिठ जी भगवान की जय हरि ओ यस्टर्डे ईसा हाउ वन अपियर्स इन स्टेड ऑफ द अदर विच इज नॉट दे आर दैट वी सी एंड विच इज दे आर वी डोंट सी इट दैट इज वॉट वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन हिंदी यस्टर्डे ज्ञान से समस्त पदार्थों का आबाद न होने पर तो सर्वदा सर्वत्र संपूर्ण विका विकल्पों के रूप से ही चीति विवर्तित विवर्तित होती है दिस प्रोसेस इज कल्ड विवर्तवाद सुपर इम्पोजिशन द प्रोसेस ऑफ सुपर इम्पोजिशन वी सी द Mainly we give this example. The rope is there in dark night because of less of light. We don't see the rope, and we think something instead of rope, which is not visible to us. We think of a snake lying there, and because of that thought, we are afraid of it. so where from this snake comes snake is not at all there but somehow we got this idea some thought of snake instead of the real rope the reality is not visible is that's why we see something else instead of the reality this is called be birthward or superimposition and this is how we call it also maya which is not there we see it and which is there we don't see it other examples many examples are there when we take the examples it becomes easier for us to understand in dark night somewhere in the forest you have forgotten your track you have misleaded into a <coughs> dense forest you don't know anything of it somewhere you are facing thorny plants 
paving stones you are getting hurt and you are hearing many kinds of terrific sounds and you are totally helpless and hopeless and in that state if you see all of a sudden they are sitting a lion with open jaws to swallow you what how do you feel and you will be unable to shout even nor, neither you can shout nor you can keep quiet you cannot go anywhere you are unable to decide what to do what not to do in that condition if there will be lightning in the clouds all of a sudden you see the whole whole forest was full of light for a moment and in that moment you could see the reality it was not a lion but a stone lion some dilapidated fort and they are on the gate side the lion stone lion was there it is as it is it it is as it was and now because you saw the lion in the darkness you thought it is a living lion and when you got the light you understood it is <coughs> stone and even though the lightning is no more there again it is pitch dark even then you will not be afraid of the stone lion on the other hand you may take shelter under the lion to be saved from other attacks you will use that fearlessly in the same way because of ignorance only you were bewildered you were afraid of the wrong false lion now you have seen it once clearly thoroughly then there is no more fear even though the darkness pervades similarly the great people of wisdom who know the truth who knows the truth clearly there is no name no form behind the name and forms there is the substratum truth which is realized by the great souls just as the picture is on the face of the substratum that is screen screen is not the picture but it holds the picture without that there cannot be any picture in that way when you know the substratum the reality the holder the container of everything then you will not be bewildered by the fire forest fire in the picture it will not burn you you are not afraid of it only when you know it to be a picture similarly whatever names and forms we see in this visible world all these names and forms are picture only it is in the body of the truth which is not visible and what is the truth the existence absolute it does exist but it is not as it looks existence absolute and the knowledge of existence you are aware that it is existing and the contentment the happiness you know that it exists so 
the happiness you get that is called bliss, anand, and your knowledge is awareness or consciousness. You know it, and uh, the existence you feel that is sat, the truth. Sat, chit, anand. These three aspects are real. It never to be destroyed. The holder, the substratum of the picture. Whereas the picture may change. There are names and forms in the picture. They are not real. In this way, when you know the truth, there is no fear and no problems. The reality is Sat Chit Anand, consciousness and existence and bliss absolute and on that all these names and forms are visible to us which are subject to change. This is called the theory of superimposition. And this process happens in many ways. This process has got different aspects and different ways. For example, we see the water becomes, water is the substratum, and on the water we see some ripples, some big waves, tides, and uh, whirlpools and also some bubbles and some foam also. When the bubbles burst, they become foam and when they are dried up, they become also solid something, sponge-like thing. We get it in uh, seashore. <laughs> उसको हम हिंदी में बोलते हैं समुद्र की जीव और वो दवाई के काम में भी आता है वो होता है कैसे जब बबल्स बर्स्ट हो जाता है तो उसका जो अवशेष रहता है वो सूखते सूखते धीरे धीरे इकट्ठा हो जाता है और वो एक आकार ले लेता है हल्का होता है बहुत आप देखे होंगे समुद्र के किनारे मिलेगा दैट सॉलिड सब्सटेंस इज यूज्ड फॉर मेनी टाइप ऑफ मेडिसिन दॉटर बिकम्स सॉलिडिफाइड इन कोर्स ऑफ मॉडिफिकेशन सो इन दिस वे वाटर इज सीन इन डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स but everywhere water we can get back. When the bubble bursts, it is water. When the waves subside, that is also water. Everywhere there is water only. So the theory is transformations or modifications that take place without giving up its nature real nature. Water is always present in everything. And other process, say milk becomes cord, cord becomes butter, butter becomes fried, butter ghee, we call it ghee. So all these transformations or modifications, we don't get milk in butter, we don't get, we cannot get back milk from cords, never we can. <laughs> it has lost its uh, previous state and it has been transformed into something else. In this way, it uh, gets uh, modified or transformed and it uh, appears to be something else. 
milk becomes butter where from we cannot get be milk back where as the water becomes wave from wave we can get back the water <laughs> difference different types of modifications so this is what in different ways we discussed yesterday this is much, this much of course the different examples stories and jokes everything <laughs> so it was not possible to explain in english yesterday this much the essence and now we shall see further abad dasa mein jo 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 vikalpo vikalpon ka ans जहाँ तहाँ जैसे जैसे जब जब जिस जिस रूप से मूढ़ों से दिया जाता है वह उसी रूप से चित्ती ही विवर्तित होती है वेन दी इग्नोर एंड पर्सन सी दी डिफरेंट थिंग ऑन रियल थिंग ऑन दी बेसमेंट ऑफ रियलिटी वॉट हैपन्स रियली say the snake is seen on the rope or the living lion is seen on the stone similarly different idols also we get in the stone we think it is an ideal idol but it is not so it is basically it is the stone the idea is superimposed on the stone then what happens the real pro- real process the mind gets mind means intellect also the ego also our ego subconscious mind together fourfold mind it gets that form it gets transformed into that superimposed thought it thinks this is the real reality in this way the process mind gets this form and that is only by ignorant persons those who don't know the reality or else those who know the reality they their mind will not be will not take that form ignorant person's mind in this way goes on changing every moment whatever it thinks whatever it sees by the senses it takes that form it takes that form <laughs> कोई बात नहीं समझ में नहीं आने से तो फिर नींद आएगी <laughs> सबका है मन अगर लग गया तो फिर नींद नहीं आ सकता है <laughs> मन में भी चित्ती का अनुप्रवेश रहने से ही विचित्र संकल्पों की सामर्थ्य होती है स्वतः नहीं इसीलिए यह निश्चित है कि चित्त में ही संपूर्ण विवर्त का स्वतंत्रता निहित है आकाश में अंकुर का तरह चित्त का अभाव रहने पर मन में किसी तरह का संकल्प नहीं उठता चित्त के उसमें अधिष्ठित रहने से ही नाना प्रकार के संकल्प मन में उठते रहते हैं इसीलिए हे श्री राम जी आप यह जान लीजिए कि इस संसार में जितनी कल्पनाएं मन में उदित होते हैं वे सब के सब चित्ती स्वरूप ही हैं चित्ती किसको कहेंगे और चित्ती कैसे ये रूप को लेता है हम जो भावना कर रहे थे ना वो चित्ती का रूप ही है भावना 
जो नहीं आई समझे इसलिए भावना को कोई देश काल परिस्थिति से हम विवेचन नहीं कर सकते हैं इससे चित्ती मीन्स द सुप्रीम पावर दैट इज कॉल्ड चित्ती इन हिंदी संस्कृत चित्ती द सुप्रीम पावर विच इज बेस्ड ऑन अवेयरनेस इट इज नॉट टोटल फॉल्सुड इट इज समथिंग विच इज नॉट देयर बट वॉट इज नॉट देयर which was there it is somehow or other covered up and that's how it is hidden and the visible object is something else reality cannot be absent the presence cannot be absent present is ever present if you see some real living lion it is there something is there that's why you could see it what is that it is not the living lion but some basement which is not visible to you so what what happens the process the process of transformations or change which is known as energy or power that power is not there but it is seen because of its because of its presence presence cannot be denied so what happens based upon the reality this modification transformations or superpositions they go on on the basement of existence something is existing which is not clear other example we give suppose a boy a student is not present in the class he is a student he is not dead and gone he is there but not in the class generally he used to be present in the class at this time you went to search for him he is not present in the class means he will be present somewhere else so what do we do we go on searching for it where is he where is he that's how we change from place to place either he will be here or he will be there or he will be somewhere else we go on searching for it because of searching the truth all the changes happen truth is there the boy is somewhere and we search for the boy that's how we go on changing places time space all change because of the truth which is not seen <laughs> this is how the whole creation whatever we see we see some names and forms and these names and forms are subject to change because the mind cannot get the reality so it changes go on searching for the reality that's how we shall discuss a very serious point the comparison between eastern philosophy and western philosophy the western philosophy says go on searching you will get you will get the reality whereas eastern philosophy indian philosophy says don't search you will get the reality how it this difference is there so both are right but little difference is there if you go on searching one day or other now or 
afterwards you will get the boy is it did the absent boy in the class you will find him out somewhere if he is not present today tomorrow he will be present in the class it is a factor of time or space but the reality is not absent it is always present because of time space and conditions we go on searching for the reality <laughs> this is how the names and forms of this visible world always go on changing mind goes on changing what is the work of mind mind perceives objects by the help of senses of five five senses of knowledge that is the sight the audibility hearing and seeing smelling touching and tasting all these five units of our senses they work every now and then for the mind to search the reality what happens really when the senses get contact with the object it gets information partially it never gets the whole full total perfect information is impossible for the senses because senses are also subject to change so what we see it is half hazard it is not real if you see the tree yesterday we were day before yesterday also we are seeing the magic the person is absent why the whole total person is named and formed the form is total but totality is not visible by the senses we cannot touch the whole total we cannot see the whole total we cannot hear the whole total we cannot smell it because the senses are limited we have limited senses limited means its power is limited it cannot find out the truth by contact with the object it gets some half hazard temporary changeable informations so what we know by our senses is imperfect and half hazard because of the incapability of the senses limited power of the senses and then whatever mind observes through the help of the senses it is not the reality so it goes again and again to see the reality <laughs> this is the process and mind of course only thought waves and intellect is decisive thought waves or subtle thought waves and higher than the intellect there is subconscious mind also where all these half hazard impressions are stored that is called chitta or the storehouse of impressions and ego is in between this change there is some i who is searching for the truth that i goes on changing because of intellect changing intellect changing mind changing senses so ego is ever changing 
and confusing that i takes the form of all these thoughts yes everything is changing because truth is not found <laughs> when the truth will be found nothing will change everything stops comes to an end for example when you are going your goal is to see gangotri or you are, your goal was to come to shivananda ashram ganeshpur you have come are you changing searching for shivananda ashram again because you have found out the goal you have reached the goal when one reaches the goal then the journey is ended journey to find the goal you are going to gangotri after the ching gangotri what will you do you will stay there of course we come back that is different subject why we come back our home is not gangotri <laughs> we have to come back to our home on this there is a beautiful example once some germany came to great saint raman maharshi raman usually never talk much he will be just sitting and unless he feels urgency to talk he never talks because he understands everything the mind of people who come to meet him so he is not bewildered <laughs> so that person came and you to see it before near raman maharshi after sitting some time some few days when raman didn't talk so he asked he had he lost patience he asked oh saint please tell me where can i find my goal how can i find so raman replied go back home <laughs> <laughs> only one sentence go back home so the poor fellow couldn't understand he went back to german there he could not he was searching for the he was sincere he was searching for the goal of life where everything ends where the journey of life ends but in going back to german he was not satisfied after some time again he comes to raman maharshi my master i could not get it please explain how can i get my goal so raman maharshi replied germany is not your home <laughs> where from you come to germany where from you come to this body slowly he came to understand and he became a great saint <laughs> your home is not here you have come from the truth because of forgetting the truth you have become some being like him and being or some other beings you have forgotten your home but temporarily relatively we have some home <laughs> which we call home and that's how so coming back from temporary goal we reach our home temporary home your so called 
reaching Gangotri is not your life's goal. It is temporary, timingly goal. I want to see Gangotri. So will you see it for eternity? No. For some time you will see Gangotri and come back. Where will you come back? To your home, so-called home, temporary home. When you go for job somewhere away from home, don't you leave your home in this way? If you go to the market, don't you home, uh, leave your home? Uh, every now and then we leave our home and go for temporary achievements. And again we come back home. So everything is temporary, subject to change. We change our home, we change our goal. All these relative goals and homes, they are because of we don't know, we have forgotten the reality where from we have come to this journey. Journey is not home. It is a process, leaving our home, going somewhere. And the aim is, the end of the journey is when we come back to home, where from you have started. Your starting point is your home. Understood? <laughs> In this way, when we don't know the reality, when we are unaware of, forgotten it, somehow or other, because of this change, the reality is hidden behind this change, just as the screen is hidden behind the manifold pictures with names and forms. Similarly, the truth, though, is behind us, yet this uh, body, senses, and mind, intellect, and the subconscious mind also, they don't find the reality. And the chitta, chitta, not chitti, Chitta, the storehouse of all these impressions or memories, always in action, always in action. What is the purpose of its actions? To find out the truth. So it goes on changing every now and then because the truth is not found. <laughs> so this storehouse and Behind the storehouse, Chitta, there is some reality which is prompting it to search for. So that power is known as Chitti, the supreme power, which engages, prompts, gives a tendency to act behind every object, every object is changing because objectification is due to changes only. So every object has existence and its awareness of existence and its contentment of awareness of existence. So, Satchidananda is hidden in every object. It is all-pervading. Everywhere it is existing. Existence, existence cannot be denied. So, the change to, the journey to find out the truth is conducted by the power then only change will take place and the journey is possible. And this is how we are in our evolution process. Evolution process is nothing but 
find out, uh, finding out the truth. It ends only when you have found out the truth. That means everything comes to an end, stand still position. Truth never changes. <laughs> so that power, which is called supreme power, chitti, or we call it maya also, which engages every object, every being to move on. That power gets this form. It becomes this form and goes on in different names and forms. If I am in search of the truth, behind me some, some uh, power is prompting me every moment to do something. And that also we do in different manners to preserve this body because body is our instrument. Without body we cannot do anything and body holds the senses and everything, mind and prana also. And basically for some time we can say prana, the breathing system or the wind, the, the cosmic wind is the prompting agent. It gives a push to you to act. Without prana you cannot. Breathing system and that is limited in limited beings. And that is unlimited in the cosmic being. <laughs> Everywhere there is prana. We also use prana. Trees even the stone also has prana, it gets changed. You know, this clay, this soil is because of transformation only. It is not the original state of it. After long transformations, it has become soil. Before soil, it was sand. Before sand it was stone, solid rocks. And before rock it was again soil. When soil is compressed, suppressed for a long time, it becomes stone. <laughs> so the cycle goes on in long run, in long course of time. Millions of years takes place for the soil to become soil. The cycle goes on. Everywhere in this changing phenomena, we get, everything gets changed in a cycle. See, the time changes, time repeats itself. Cycle means it has to repeat again and again. On this basis, we can analyze our life also. Many times we have become human beings since a time immemorial starting point. We forgot, forgot ourselves and then we became something. We became the sky, space and then we became air and then became, we became fire, then water and then earth or solidity, solid object, and then again mixture of all these, everything gets mixed up, and some bodies are created, some objects, we call it body, and those bodies, body means a group. The, pardon? Kosh, kosh also. And body means there are many courses. So the whole totality is called body. The trust body and the... <laughs> Water body. Eh? Water body. Yes. Some groups, they go on working. And group will have individualities. 
and many groups also make another group in this way one in many many in one it goes on and this process changing process also goes on repeating again and again that is called cycle whole creation changes in cycle and on the earth if you go go straight without changing your directions then you will come back to your starting point everything is round <laughs> the earth is round our journey also is round our evolution process also is round the whole universe is round our solar system also is round the galaxy also is round everything is round because of cycle <laughs> it goes on rotating and repeats again and again how many times this sun has become as sun and disappeared in the space nobody knows and how many millions of time you have become human being changing into different beings there is no hard and fast rule but this changing process is due to your action and reaction everywhere it is applicable so every action changes into reaction and in this way our actions differ from each other so our journey also differs from each other no two can be equal in this way the creation goes on and where from it started it started when the change was seen on the unchanging surface <laughs> for example the surface yellow water of the ocean is ever restless ever with uh, waves or different modifications the surface is never set constant or balanced always it is subject to change Where, uh, from this what we understand when the balance state becomes imbalanced then that imbalance state goes on changing that is called creation the waves are created by the water so the world changing phenomena names and forms are created by the truth understood now <laughs> this is how the truth is substratum for everything and our journey because of imbalanced state somehow or other which is not there just as the wave is nothing but water so also we are nothing but the absolute truth but somehow we have forgotten it and what is that somehow this process is not known to anyone nobody knows why and how this energy started why it is unknown because you are the you are inside it just as the eyes cannot know the whole body because it is inside the body isn't it when you are inside the room you don't know what all about the whole room outside inside and from every direction you cannot know how is this room because you are inside when you go out and see the whole totality from outside from all directions then only you know it so this is how when you give up this change then only you can know what is change 
because you are inside the process in the process you cannot know what is the process because we are in the change which is called the energy we don't know what is the energy why it started where from it started where will it end nobody knows only one knows who goes out of it who goes the, out of the cycle <laughs> if you can somehow give up this cycle and for that of course there are many process that is what these so called spiritual seekers they do they try to go out of the cycle uh, cycle Swamiji, eh? yes Because of imbalancing, yes. It yes. is pushing us yes. to go for search. Now that change is happening because of that search. Change, yes. Now how to give up that search? That is what we are doing in sadhana. Somehow or other, you have to stop searching. That is what Eastern philosophy says. <laughs> Don't find. Don't go on. don't search for and i will give you another example always it is my experience i will tell you once i was invited to attend some functions at uh, kanyakumari kanyakumari is in south end of india it is about 3000 or 3 and 1000 feet 1000 meters a eh, kilometers from here and i promised i shall attend the process uh, your your function i had less time and they had arranged for it having the plane tickets from dehradun to uh, delhi no dehradun to bombay and bombay to trivandrum from trivandrum i had to go by car about 500 or more than that kilometers to reach uh, kanyakumari everything was arranged and it can be done in one day because of planes so that day i have to be hurried up i have to hurry up so i got up at 2 o'clock in the night and i got ready had my bath and then i called my driver get ready we shall go to catch the plane by as a 11 o'clock or so so got up at 2 o'clock all the time i had the strong idea somehow or other i shall not miss any uh, flight or anything connecting cars or something so i was always hurrying up and all the time that strong idea was in my mind i have to hurry up so i reached before time at dehradun airport and got the plane and reached bombay of course in time and after some time i caught my another plane reach trivandrum at about uh, evening say 7 8 o'clock of course i had to wait for the uh, connecting plane at bombay for some time and 
in between i didn't like to have any food all the time i had the idea i have to reach <laughs> kanyakumari <laughs> so from tribandram our friends who were waiting for me with the car they brought me out and asked swami ji car is ready shall we go i said i have not eaten anything so let us have something samayar we could not get some vegetarian hotel anywhere samayar <coughs> in a small restaurant we sat there and ordered to make some chapati and little sabji he did it one hour or so we took then got the car car and it was starting raining so somehow or other we took a little more time and reached kanyakumari at about 1 o'clock night <laughs> starting by 2 here and reaching at 1 at night whole day i was tired and the moment i read there some people who are waiting for me they said swami ji tomorrow we shall give you your uh, book room now you rest here because at this time nobody is there <laughs> so please rest in this room and tomorrow morning we shall come and you uh, you will be shifted to your room somehow or other i lie down but i was so tired i could not have sleep i was start i started dreaming what was i dreaming i was hurrying from uttarkashi shivananda ashram are i have to get up get up get up i was dreaming in a dream <laughs> that i have to get up i got up everything whatever happened in the way everything beat by beat i was dreaming and i was always hurrying up to reach kanyakumari where was where was I was sleeping in Kanyakumari. <laughs> <laughs> I have forgotten because I am unconscious, because of our tiredness. I am trying all my best to reach Kanyakumari in Kanyakumari. <laughs> This is how we have forgotten ourselves, and that's how if you wake up, you will find you are. you are at your goal if you get up what is getting up of course they are i got up in the morning i remember the whole dream it was so vivid and now also i remember every bit i remember in this way if you know all these process is a dream when you get up from the dream then only your dream becomes a dream as long as you are dreaming the dream is real this is how we are in the dream and that's how everything is real for us and if you give up your search you get up you will found you will find it you are at the goal nothing no here to go no here to search for anything you are at the goal you are the goal itself you are searching for yourself enquire who am i know thyself that is the truth this is what is told by great saints again and again those who have found out the real, uh, reality 
those who have experienced it, they give this method, find out, inquire, who am I? And all these accumulations of body, the group, you have to forget, then the substratum will get. You are the picture behind you, the screen is there, without the screen, you cannot be a picture. Why you are a picture? Because everything in you is changing every moment. Your identity is changing every moment. And this is what he is trying to explain to you. This power, this supreme power, which is everywhere acting, eternally acting, this is nothing but the reality itself. When it has become imbalanced, it has become the nature or the energy or this changing phenomena. This is appearing to itself as the world with names and forms. Every wave in the water will have a name and a shape that we call in physical language, physics language, the wavelength differs from wave to wave. No two waves can be similar. <laughs> this is how we are different from each other. Yet something is common in everyone. The water is common in all the waves. We are beings, we have limited beings, but we are being what is called limitedness. What is called limit? Ah, oh yes, my cards are here. <laughs> what is called limit? <laughs> This is called unlimited, because nothing we see limited in the white paper. The moment we express our inner idea on this substratum, what is that? The idea is a triangle. Now it is limited. The paper is limited. Unlimited paper is limited by expression of the idea. Paper is there, it is not absent behind the triangle, behind the lines. The paper is there. In this way, the reality is behind everything. That is when limited by the idea, that has taken a form and it has got a name. It is called triangle. A triangle is made by sides, three sides. And the moment we have expressed it, so many things are expressed in it. See, the moment you see this triangle, how many ideas are included in it? One idea is a group of ideas. It is called triangle, one idea. It has got many sides, many corners, many angles, and it has got area. It has got so many things. And everything is related with the other. One side is related with the other side. The angle also is connected, related, and dependent up on the other side. This is called relativity, and this is called dependency. No side is independent. This is how we are lost. The moment the idea has been expressed, we have forgotten the paper, we are always roaming in the 
relationships. If this is the side, where, where is the side? This is not the base. It is what will be the angle of the side and how it is related with the base and with the other side. In this, this way, all the questions and answers, relations and uh, transactions, uh, dependency, everything starts. This is called a relative world. When you have become something, limited being, this is called limited being. The paper has become limited and it has become a being because it has become so it is a being. So it will start all sorts of relationship, dependency, connectivity, everything, comparison, whether this side is equal to this or bigger than this or smaller than this, all this comparison starts. Transaction starts. Relationship starts, everything. This is how we are ever engaged in all these, all these, uh, you see, relationships. We have lost our independency. We are dependent every, for everything on everyone. understood this is how we are. The unlimited has become limited because of imbalanced state, because of idea. I am, this is called I am. The triangle says I am a triangle. So all these qualities and changes, relationships, transactions, dependency, comparison, Everything will start. The moment you have become a being, everything starts. All these are confusive, illusive changes which has got no meaning. <laughs> which has got no meaning, it will take you nowhere. Unless you find out the paper your limitness, limitedness will not vanish. When you delete this, you are again the paper. The paper says I am the triangle. <laughs> because it has forgotten the paper. Again, that idea which start, uh, which is so powerful so that journey start from here to uh, Trivendam, ah. Kanyakumari. So it didn't stop there also. It was still running. Yes, yes. So idea was uh, the more idea It is eternal. Was, Once it is there, it never dies up. <laughs> Even though you delete this, the impression of the triangle will be there. <laughs> Once created, it is eternally there. Why? Because it is based on the eternity, <coughs> based on the truth. So it cannot die out. The substratum is there. So the idea will be there. Again, the paper is different and pencil is different. So this is, is not this part is, of paper. No, no. This is to express the idea. Expression of idea is called pen pencil or the line, is everything. Idea is based on the paper only. When idea is expressed, so many, uh, so many uh, collection will be there. When you have become a human being, you have to make your body collecting all the ingredients. So that is from within, if we started drawing the lines, it is only on the paper. 
So similarly, if we have made this body some idea, I, I is an idea. <laughs> so that I has become triangle now. Say human being or any being. That I idea is based on the paper only. And as long as paper is there, the idea will not die out. And this is how, where there is nothing, there is everything. Anything you can draw here. Any idea can be expressed here. It is not only a triangle, it can be a square, a rectangle, a, a or a B. Lines only, limitedness only. That it has got some name and some form. That's all. <laughs> and see, what is this? Second one, what is this? <laughs> can you name it? We can name it nameless idea. <laughs> Form is there. It is based on paper. You cannot deny it. Existence cannot be denied. But name, if I say, if I say, helmet, helmet. helmet okay. And I say helmet, you have accepted it, he has accepted it, so it has become a language. <laughs> Many others will follow you. In this way, we use our language, sound, and that's how the whole transaction of this creation based upon sound. So we say sound is the, the starting point of creation. That is said indirectly in other way, Big Bang theory. And we say also same thing in different ways. There was two sounds in the beginning of the creation. Om Atha. In Bible also you will get the same thing. In the beginning of creation there are only two sounds. And when they expand, mix with each other, then all these forms and names, everything in the creation grows. <laughs> sound is nothing but vibration, just as the wave clashes with another wave and becomes something else. Similarly, this sound becomes the sky, air, fire, all these five gross elements means basic changes. And they again mix up with each other and the, then different names and forms are created. Our Indian thought of creation in this way, and the same method can be expressed in different terms and conditions. So that is Western philosophy or upward philosophy, downward philosophy, right philosophy, left philosophy, many names we can give, but the thing is the same. <laughs> when we search for the truth, we go on changing, the angle is not there, the side is not there. In this way, you have to negate, then only you can search. So this is given in Vedas, neti neti, doctrine, not this, not this, not this, not this. Why you go on for searching and doing not this, not this? Our example of searching for the boy, absent the boy, we go on searching for it, saying not, not here, not here, not here. The same thing is said in Vedas. Not this, not this, not this. I am not this body, I am not this senses, I am not this mind, I am not this intellect. In this way, 
when not this not this says not the not this when the negative is negated then it comes to plus 2 minus makes a plus that is called the truth <laughs> from this process only we have bring it our mathematical theories mathematics is based on all these changes changes only 2 plus 2 is 4 huh eh? 4 divided by 2 into 2 is 2 all these changing process only from this creative process we have brought out our mathematics our science our philosophy everything is based on this when you go on thinking over it again and again you get some theories some uh, hypothesis something that is named as something it is helpful in your day to day life we call it science we call it philosophy we call it uh, mathematics or we call it astrology or so many things name it as you like so what happens our point is how this <coughs> supreme power this changing phenomena is acted and how it takes different forms so he says this supreme power by the changing process of the subconscious mind the intellect the ego and mind and senses the body it goes on taking the form of all these it takes this form and becomes i the supreme power by change it goes on identifying itself as i am the uh, i am the bowel i am the t i am the uh, uh, thermos i am the uh, enjoyer of it i have the taste i am the taste also i am the sight also everything it becomes it is not i which changes it is the idea which changes it is not the idea it is that power supreme power which changes basically the power supreme power changes and that changes in the form of all these <laughs> what we say the god particles change is nothing is changing but this idea or the i or the mind or say the energy which is changing ever changing phenomena okay now this is what he wants to express explain akash akash mein ankur ke tarah chitti ka abhav rahne par मन में किसी तरह की संकल्प नहीं उठता जस्ट आज वी कैन नॉट इमेजिन वी कैन नॉट सी और क्रिएट ए टेंपल और ए बिल्डिंग इन द एयर बिल्डिंग कैसेल्स इन द एयर कैसेल्स वी कैन नॉट क्रिएट इन द स्पेस इन द स्काई it is impossible because it has to have some support solid support because it is a solid object so it should have a solid support so he says this is how just as you cannot build a castle in the air so also 
Pendi, this power is not active, mind cannot think, the body cannot work, the senses cannot perceive the objects, the intellect cannot decide, the ego cannot work, and the subconscious mind also cannot go on multiplying or uh, going on changing. All these will stop. And that is called the end of our journey and finding out the finding out the goal, reach the goal or realizing the truth. That we call self-realization. Self-realization. Kya bolta hai hindi mein? Atma sakshadkar. To be. It is not to find out. It is to be. <laughs> who can be. Who, wa who, who was. It can be again. Because of changes it was not that. Now it can be it. Because of changes, it was not that. Now it can be it. Be it. You are, you are. <laughs> no more changes. So neither mind nor intellect, nothing can work here. When you reach the basement, the reality. Ye sab ke sab chitti swarupi hai and in the end he says when chitti works the whole world appears. The, when the power works it takes different forms, different names, it goes on changing. The changing process itself when it stops, there is no world. Just go down. Yes. Bas was. Every moment it is supplying and taking out also. That is called transaction. <laughs> yes, yes. अज्ञानी के हृदय में जो जो विकल्प श्री उदित होती है वो सब चिदाकाश के सर्वगामी और अनंत होने से सदरूप नहीं है एंड ही गिव्स दिस एक्सप्लेनेशन फ्रॉम डिफरेंट एंगल सब टाइम्स ही सेज इट इज नॉट देयर Sometimes it says everything is that only. Both ways it is right. As you see it, it looks like that. So now he says, because the truth is all pervading, ever existing, and everything, so this supreme power is not at all there. Not at all there. This is the final declaration. Final means there is no wave, only water. This is also right. <laughs> wave is nothing but water only. All these changes are no change. It is only the reality. So on this basis, from the final declaration basis, whatever you see, you see only the truth. On this, our, <laughs> this final, sometimes we go through it, we shall find 
जगदेव हरि ही हरि रेव जगत हरि रेव जगत जगदेव हरि ही हरि तो जगतो नहीं भिन्न तनु इति यति परमार्थ गति स नरो भव सागरम उद्धरति द फाइनल इज देर इज नथिंग बट द गॉड इज वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड इज गॉड देर इज नो डिफरेंस नो डिफरेंस वन हु नोज इट टू बी ट्रू वन हु आइडिया नेवर सेक वन हु इज कन्फर्मड ऑन इट ऑन सेकेंडली एस्टाब्लिश इन इट ही इज बियॉन्ड दिस वर्ल्ड ही इज बियॉन्ड एवरीथिंग ही इज नो मोर सब्जेक्ट टू साइकिल ऑफ डेथ बर्थ एंड डेथ पढ़ हाँ जी so this is one way and other way he says whatever you see it is from one point it is god and from other point whatever you see it is not there not there because you see the name and form you don't see the reality if you see the reality names and forms are not there the only truth is there so god is world world is god in this way one has to be conformed anvayatire ha anvayatire ha ji anvayatire एक को देखेंगे दूसरा ने फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी सी एवरी वेयर बट वी आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ इट वी डोंट गो टू द डिसीशन डिस्कशन एंड डिसीशन एंड कन्फर्मेशन सी वेन यू सी द ट्री वट यू सी वेन यू एनालाइज ऑफकोर्स आउटवर्डली वी से Oh, there is a tree. What tree it is? It is flower tree. Okay, but what you call tree? How do you see the tree? Don't you see the leaves? Don't you see the branches and the sub branches and the stem of it? You see everything. So can you see? Can you say? the leaf is not a tree the tree is a leaf leaf is a tree can you deny it similarly the whole totality is individual and individual is a whole totality that's how god is world world is god <laughs> the whole totality is called the truth and individuality is called being clear when you see the tree don't you see the leaf so are are the leaves not the tree can you say no <laughs> and when you see the tree can you say it is not the leaf can there be any tree without the leaf so tree is leaf leaf is tree this is how god is world world is god <laughs> the totality is individuality and individuality is totality when we analytically see it then we realize it we agree to it but if you go to pluck some flowers you don't pluck the tree <laughs> in del our relative transactions we deal with individuality only relatively we do our transaction we behave with individual only 
and that individual also has a body, a group of individualities. See the leaf, leaf has got its stem, its uh, the middle, uh, what you call the nerve of it and many layers and the color of it, the uh, upper side, the lower side and uh, if you analyze scientifically then there are many cells and each cell is different from each other. In this way many parts are there. It has got a shape, it has got some size, it has got different designs. So, so many things are there in a leaf, just as we saw the triangle. Triangle is one, you see the triangle, but how many things are there inside the triangle? How many comparisons, how many relationships, how many different ideas are there inside the triangle? This is how we deal with one part, which is which includes all the parts. <laughs> and because we don't go to the source, so we are always in confused. And so uh, this is called illusion or confusion or uh, say maya or superimposition or modification or change or call it as you like. In many terms, many languages, we can express it. For today, this much. And tomorrow we shall see further. The ideas which is expressed, it is not there. But the behind the idea, the that is called truth, that is called reality. What you see, it is not the reality. So again, we shall see it still analytically tomorrow. <laughs> Surely, why not? So it is easy to deal with illusion. If we know, it is we are dealing with illusion. If we know that we are dealing with God, the whole uh, purpose process. See the pro the process is different from each other because it is changing. So your analysis analytical process will be different than my analysis. That's how we don't agree to each other. We fight. No, no, what I think it is right, you are wrong. And this is how all these religions, philosophies, and all these difference of opinion, they are seen. Because, because of differences only. And difference we cannot avoid. When we are in the relative world, we cannot avoid these differences. So, fight is a must. Come on, we shall fight. Whether you are right or I am right. <laughs> somehow you are right, somehow I am right. Somehow you are wrong, I am also wrong. <laughs> you cannot avoid all these difference of opinions. That's why in our own one religion there are six schools of thoughts. Sada Darshan kyo aay gaya bhai? Ek to Sanatan Dharma usme Sada Darshan kyo aaya? Koi kaise dekha, koi kaise dekha? When you take a photograph from one angle, it differs from the other angle photograph. 
naturally there is difference and naturally there is fight which photo is right <laughs> which is right what which is wrong go on fighting <laughs> हरि ओम पूर्णमदह पूर्णमीद पूर्णाद पूर्णमुदाचत पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्यते ओम शाति 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 सदगुरु भगवान की जय सचिदानंद भगवान की जय शब्द ब्रह्म की जय सरस्वती महारानी की जय जो श्री जी भगवान की जय